Hello and welcome to this now today uh, I am doing um, my review of the season unfortunately it did come to an end on Sunday we the players I thought like Ralph said was two games too many and I just think we ran out of steam a bit and we went to Bradford for a point the, uh, no, for a draw sorry and we didn't get it and we lost a bit of confidence and we didn't really go at them in the second leg so yes how many times do I say so yes in a video now? It's unbelievable. So, at the start of the season, I thought, I said we'd finish about 17th. And we've done remarkable to be where we are. Um, Rosal was appointed about a week before the start of the season. We got a point at Northampton through a Victor Nierenold header, which is, like, crazy. Um, then we drew, then we took the lead to extra time and lost 5-4 on penalties. Um, and then a draw against Scunthorpe where we were 2 0 up, that's where two points dropped there. You start to think where we dropped points if we could have got automatic. Then then we beat Oxford 2-0, then we beat South End 2-0 through in between that we lost two on to Bolton. And we, yep. Then we play Coventry, beat them 2-0. Didn't everyone beat Coventry this season at home? And then we drew 2 2 against Charlton, another last minute goal for Charlton. Then lost to Rochdale, um, lost to MK Dons, lost to Bradford, drew to, um, drew to Sheffield in the last minute. But drawing against Sheffield, a big team in the league at the time, a point would have been good. But conceding in the 95th minute, again, two points dropped. That's already four dropped it. We could have won. Eight. No, it's six points already. So. Yep, um, I'll just say it again, so yep, um, then we played, we didn't have Bristol Rose because it was postponed, then it was Peterborough at home, uh, we beat them 2-0, then we beat Chesterfield away 1-0, um, that's where we started to move up that table a little bit more, then we beat, um, who was it after Chesterfield? It was Millwall away. We lost 2-1. It was a good goal by Ash. Um, two penalties, though. Then when we played... Billingham at home, we beat them 2-1. Um, then... Who did we have then? The Rovers, we lost 2-1. Um, so, going through the results, we were losing quite a few at that moment in time, but... Uh, then we went on an 18-game unbeaten run from Port Vale, where we were beating teams like Sheffield United, Scunthorpe, MK Dons, going to uh, Charlton, getting a point from Mari Bell in the last minute, um, getting a point in the last minute against South End, having that belief, and I never thought we'd lose in that 18-game run. Then it came to Bolton at home, and then I started bricking it basically we lost 4-2 bounced back well then we started like drawing a few drew against them um afc wimbledon drew against berry um then we bounced back well we beat oxford and we lost we know we lost to Alden, beat oxford so we were quite inconsistent towards the end of the season then um and then we ended fourth in the table fourth with one of the lowest budgets and being expected to be in down there. And it, we were a bit like the Leicester of League One, but we didn't win it. But we were the surprise package, us and Scunthorpe, small teams, small attendances. And we've done really well. Louvre's done really well. The training facility, then eight and a half million pound training facility that no one really looks at in League One, but probably the best training facility in League One. And how many times have I said League One in this video? Now I know I'm going to get salty comments. Oh, we're better than you. We're better than you. Fair play to Bradford. You were better over us than two legs. But I can't believe what a season we've had. Now, I will be honest, for a couple of days, I did feel a bit. A bit upset and I still feel a bit upset now, but now I'm starting to think what a season it was and hopefully we can come back next year stronger with Uwe in charge, hopefully. Hopefully signing Kyle Dempsey, maybe even Scoogill. Get a consistent striker uh, who can score goals, but please, not Jermaine Beckford or Stephen Dobby, please. Um, so thank you for watching. Sorry there was no video yesterday, but um, I was making a goal completion and it kind of went wrong and it got me stressed out, so I didn't want to upload that. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. There'll be no League One Roundup this week. It'll be after the playoffs, but 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy your time to Wembley. Yeah, we're not going. I get it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Peace.